Hello YouTube. So this is my 2006 Honda Ridgeline and it's got about 176,000 miles on it. And it actually runs uh, pretty good, especially for a vehicle with that many miles on it. But I came across this product in the store. It's called Seafoam Spray. And of course I've heard of Seafoam, but I've never seen this particular product and it comes with a nice uh, fancy nozzle but it's called Seafoam Spray Top Engine Cleaner and Lube and it says it helps remove intake valve and combustion chamber deposits good for GDI, standard fuel injected, carbureted engines and also two cycle and four cycle gas engines and I looked at the instructions through the straw of course but uh, pretty easy process and I'll walk you through it. But the first thing I did was used my, my boroscope and I took videos and pictures of the three front uh, combustion chambers. So took the spark plugs out and put this down there to get an idea of, of our starting point. Uh, pretty black, a lot of carbon which I suppose is expected for a vehicle with this many miles on it. And I'll show those uh, on the video here. And so now I want to give this stuff a shot. And yeah, let's see if it makes a difference. So let me open this up. And in case you're curious, this was about 10 bucks at Walmart, but I'm sure Amazon sells it, probably auto parts stores as well. All right. Fancy little straw there. All right, so let's... Uh, you read the instructions here. It says warm up engine and turn off all accessories. Uh, the engine is warm, so we're good there. And let's see, locate engine throttle body and remove air intake boot. Install the seafoam cleaning tube by inserting the short end of the patented hook guide, which I guess is this. Into the throttle body, place the tube assembly one quarter inch in front of the throttle plate in a location where throttle plate opens away from tube. Reattach air intake boot on throttle body to hold tube assembly in place. With vehicle in park or neutral and parking brake engaged, start engine and increase idle speed 500 to 1000 RPM above factory idle specification. Increasing engine RPM is important for the following reasons. Seafoam spray cleaner must be evenly distributed. The seafoam spray cleaner must fully atomize. And the seafoam spray cleaner must pass through the throttle body, not the air bypass. And then it says find a method to hold engine RPM steady as this application takes five minutes. After the engine can after the entire can of seafoam spray has been used, stop spray, return to normal idle speed, and shut off engine. Remove cleaning tube from throttle body and reattach air inlet boot to throttle body and tighten clamp. Let vehicle hot soak for 5 to 15 minutes, then restart in a ventilated area as exhaust may be extreme for a short time. Road test driving aggress aggressively to remove any remaining deposit buildup. All right, so uh, seems like they say a lot for not that many steps in the process. So if you can see here, they give you a little schematic on what, how it goes into the throttle body there. So 
I've already taken the liberty of disconnecting the throttle body here or the air inlet tube. And so looks like you kind of have to move this a little bit here. It's a little fidgety. kind of position it the way at least with the length that you need and it does sort of snap into place I guess to let you know it's working and I'm, this, partic this particular vehicle the throttle body plate is is only about an inch or so uh, where this intake valve attaches so I don't have to I don't need much space there. So it's semi semi attached. I've got the tube positioned. Get the kinks out of this. All right. So the next step is I'm going to start the engine and use some method to increase the RPMs 500 to 1,000. And I think for this instance, I will use a rock. But if you got a buddy at home that would work too. Alright, and then while the engine is running we will spray the entire contents into the intake. Alright, and just noticed guaranteed your money's worth or your money back. So there you go. All right, so let me start the engine and we will get started. So it's running about 2,000 RPMs, should suffice.
All right, so now it says to let it hot soak for five to 15 minutes. Uh, I'll give it 15 minutes to give it the best chance. And then it says, take it for a drive and drive aggressively. So I'll do that. I'll come back and uh, we'll take a look inside the uh, combustion chamber and see if it made a difference. I also uh, took some pictures of the spark plug itself to see uh, if this will help remove some of the deposits on the spark plugs. They're pretty old, so we'll be able to tell a difference if it actually made a difference. All right, welcome back. So I let it heat soak for about 15 minutes and then I took it for a drive. Uh, drove aggressively like the can said. It lasted about 15 minutes. So now let's take a look and see how it looks. So let's start with the uh, throttle body. So Definitely looks clean and it looks like maybe still a little wet from the spray. So I imagine that'll evaporate over time. Now let's go take a look at the first combustion chamber. Oh wow. So this was uh, all black before. I don't remember seeing any color whatsoever, so this actually did did quite a bit. Yeah, it did pretty good. So let's go look at the second one. Okay, you can see up there, definitely got some of that carbon off. It's like Happy Gilmore. Get in your hole. Get in the hole. There you go. All right. Okay. Again, definitely it's taken off some carbon. I didn't see any color before. So overall, not too bad considering how much carbon was on there before. I'm actually pretty impressed. For 10 bucks, I don't think it's a bad deal. All right, let's take a look at the spark plugs. It definitely got a lot of that, um, the white stuff off. There's still some black stuff but definitely got a lot of that carbon off. So, not too bad. All right, well, overall, I'm pretty
pretty impressed. Um, yeah, it cost ten dollars, and took me about uh, forty-five minutes if you consider the heat soak and the drive time and taking everything apart. So um, certainly uh, easy enough that uh, pretty much anyone can do it to their own vehicle, I would say. But what I'd like to do is uh, maybe buy a different brand and and see if it makes a difference at all. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. So. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think there was much of a difference?